Hey guys, it's Young Mind HS here, back with another video. So today we're going to be talking about how to run Fortnite on a low-end PC or a laptop for Season 6. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go down into the description and download my How to Run Fortnite on Low-End PC pack. This will come in as a 7-zip, so you will need to extract it before continuing. How you do this is with 7-zip, you right click, go to 7-zip, click extract here, then as you can see we already have it, but then what you will get is this. Then you want to click on it, you want to make sure you have launch options, optimizations and config. We'll work our way from the bottom to the top, so we'll start with launch options. What you want to do is click on launch options, but you don't want to copy and paste it yet. What you want to do is go down to type here to search and type in task. Then what you want to do is click on task manager. Show more details. Go to performance. And then you're looking for the number called logical processor. Whatever this number is, you type it in here. So if you add two, four, six, whatever, you type it in there. Mine is eight. And then you want to copy that, go to the Epic Games launcher, go to Fortnite, click on the little cog at the top right, scroll all the way down to Fortnite, click on it, Highlight additional command line arguments. If there's anything in here from my previous tutorials or you've just done something yourself, make sure to remove it as stacking them on top of each other could cause conflict and it could break your game altogether. Then what you want to do is copy that in there by pressing Ctrl and V and then you will have that finished. Then what you want to do is close that down, then open it back up again just to check that it's been put in there properly. Then you can close down Fortnite. You can also close launchoptions.txt and the CPU task manager viewer. Then we're going to do the config just because it's the next logical step. As this is for low end PC, this is drastically going to decrease your graphical settings. If you're looking for something a little less drastic, I recommend watching my Fortnite FPS increase guide, which just covers optimizations without the drastic graphical decay. So, what you want to do is go down here type run, type percent app data percent, then you want to click on app data, go to local, find Fortnite game, click on saved, go to config, Windows client, and then you'll see these three folders. What you want to do is highlight these three and drag them in then click replace. If you didn't see those three folders, don't worry, it's fine. Just drag in the ones in the pack and you'll be fine. Now you can close that down and open optimizations. In here you should find MB3, Fortnite High, Priori high Priority dot reg, CC setup and unpark CPU. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up and just click on malware bytes and run it. What this will do is it's basically an uh, antivirus and it will just check your PC for viruses. This is important as viruses and malware can drastically slow down your PC resulting in much lower FPS. I recommend doing this twice a month depending on what you're doing online, if you're downloading a lot of dodgy files or doing a lot of torrenting, 
definitely recommend doing this once or twice a week at least. This may result in an FPS increase depending on what kind of junk you had on your PC. It will also remove pups, which are potentially unwanted programs, which can just clog up your PC and really slow it down. Then the next thing we're going to do is click on Fortnite High Priority dot reg. We need this now as we can no longer just set Fortnite to high priority from our task manager. So we have to do it through the registry. Basically what you want to do is click on it then hit yes. It will ask you if it's okay to add it to the registry and you just want to hit yes and it'll basically change your registry. Then you want to go to CC Setup, run that, and that will give you CC Cleaner, which uh, doesn't seem to be working for me, so I actually will install it here. And as you will see, it will unpack it, and you just hit Install, and it'll take a couple of seconds. Then you want to hit Run Cleaner, you can download the updated version if you want, it's up to you. Then you want to hit Run Cleaner, and this will clear out all the junk files that you have in your PC. As you can see, it removed 908 megabytes for me. I use this daily, so that's actually quite impressive that it removed that much. Then the final one you want to go to is Unpark CPU App, and you want to run it. What this basically does is, when you hit check status, it checks if your CPU is parked or unparked, and it gives you the ability to unpark them. What this means is your CPU can utilize all the power it can to give you that FPS boost that you need. So, I'm going to close this down, as mine are already unparked. Don't worry if it takes a while. Depending on your CPU, it can take longer or shorter. Then, as we see from malware bytes, the scan was complete and no threats were detected. If threats were detected, you would go along to quarantine, click on this to select all, and then hit delete. So, that's everything in the folder. So, now let's just get into some base Windows optimizations. What you want to do is go down here and type battery and you want to go to power and sleep settings. Then you want to change this to your personal preference. Now on a laptop this can really make a difference as you don't have much power. So you want to be making sure you're reserving as much power as possible when you're not playing and make sure it's going to sleep after a certain amount of time. Then you want to go to display, make sure night light is off, scale and layout is 100%, resolution you want to set it to 800 by 600, orientation to landscape. Then you want to go ahead and close this down, go to power down here, and hit choose power plan. Then you should see balanced, power saver, and then under here there will probably be high performance. You basically just want to check the most high performance one that you can. So if you don't have high performance, tick balanced, and if you have ultimate, click ultimate. Whatever one you pick, then you want to hit change plan settings, turn off display, this is personal preference, and put computer to sleep, this is personal preference. But again, as I stated, with laptops, if you're looking to conserve power just for gaming, I recommend setting these to about 15 minutes. Then you want to hit change advanced power settings, Turn hard disk off after it will originally be 20 minutes. You want to set it to zero. Processor power management, minimum and maximum. You want to make sure it's 100%. You do that by just clicking on it 
and typing 100 in the box. Then there's something you can do in Task Manager. So just type in Task Manager, go to Startup, and then if there's anything on Startup that you don't actually need, so for example, I don't need Twitch on Startup, and I don't need Gold Galaxy on Startup, so I'm just going to go ahead and disable those. You disable something by right clicking and hitting Disable. If you ever want to re enable it, you just right click and hit Enable. Then, within the Epic Games browser, there is a good tip you can do. You can go into the Unreal Engine and install it. This can basically lead to more FPS as you will have the base assets of the engine. So, Fortnite is built on the Unreal Engine, so if you have the base assets, it can run much smoother as it is rendering less as you already have the engine assets. Then, the last step I'm going to talk about is GPU drivers. These are really important as it allows your motherboard to connect with your GPU the most efficient way possible. So let's hop into Chrome and have a look at that. So depending on what graphics card you have, you will need to get different drivers. So if you're not sure what driver you have, you go down here and type run, then type DX Diag. Then after it loads, you want to go to display and it'll tell you your graphics card. As you can see, I have a GeForce GTX 1060, so we'll be searching for that now. We want to go to GeForce, go to GeForce 10 series, and GeForce 60. Then I would hit search, and I would hit download. It's the same concept for AMD. Uh, I'm not very good with AMD cards, as I've never used them. But uh, say if you had R9 series and you had R9 200 series and then you had an R9 280X, you would just click that and then hit submit and then you would download the drivers it told you to. Now let's hop into game and see how it looks. So as you can see from the lobby alone, the graphics are a lot less detailed. As we're loading into a game here, we're going to see what they look like in game and if this is actually playable. I have used this on my older PC and it was definitely fine to play with but you could struggle with long distance shots. But I would rather play like this than not play the game at all so in my opinion it's definitely worth it. As you can see as we load into game it is not that bad at the moment, but what we're going to do is just go ahead and drop Tilted Towers. As you can see, there is not very much detail at the moment, so we'll see what happens when we land. We're going to go ahead and jump out here, and we're going to go right for Tilted. Probably not the best move but I want to keep in sh close combat as it is really hard to hit people at long ranges with these graphics. So we're probably going to go ahead and just drop in the middle of Tilted and see if we can maybe get a shotgun or something like that just to get those easy early picks. We do get a pump shotgun. We're going to see if anyone's landing around here can hear someone breaking but that is below me so we're going to drop and see what happens do not see anyone here we're going to keep dropping here seeing if we can pick anyone up can hear a lot of gunshots but obviously that is just because it's tilted and I'm going to see if I can get some decent picks with these graphics so I'm just going to go ahead and drop, picking up the ammo wherever possible. But I'm surprised no one actually landed in this middle building. And as you can see, we get absolutely destroyed. But these graphics are certainly playable. So 
If this guide helps you out, let me know in the comment below. If you want an even further drop in graphical settings, also let me know and I can provide a different link of even further graphical settings in the description. If you think this could help someone out, uh, definitely share it. And if you're new, I do a lot of FPS guides and tutorials, so definitely think about subscribing. But anyway guys, till next time, I'll see you soon.